Hey, what's up, family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, two Crazy, crazy Ketos. Ketos. While it's June. You know what that means. Yep, that means it's time for another Keto Crate. And we'll unbox this guy right, right after, after this. this. So if you're new to our channel, welcome. Like I said, my name is Joe. And I'm Rachel. And we're Two Crazy Ketos. And here on our channel, we do different things like product reviews. We do recipe videos. We talk about various keto topics. And then once a week, we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us on different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we also have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com. And that's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now, we do upload at least five new videos every single week. So make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon. Icon, and that way every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Yep, so like we said, it's June, so that means it's time to open up another Keto Crate. It's Keto Crate time. And if you don't know what a Keto Crate is, this is basically a monthly subscription box where they send you a bunch of different Keto goodies. Um, we do have a coupon code that'll get you 15% off of your first box when you use our link that is down below. And just to let you know, if you do use that link, it does give us a little bit of money to help you know cover the cost of having our channel. Yeah. So are you ready for this? I'm always ready for keto snacks. I've got my knife. That is, oh. Uh, okay. Still a, still not using a letter opener no, or we're not something using a safer. Letter opener. Okay. Are you ready? So we have, Ooh. this is just, when you use this, this is where you're gonna find out what all the prices are. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna quickly go through everything in here go over the nutri the macros on it all, and mm -hmm. then figure out the prices, right? Yeah. So you've got a little paper for shrewd food. Shrewd foods. Haven't we had some of their, like, yeah, we've had some of these protein crisps. Before. We have. So 15% off on Amazon. Yep. Uh, Keto Baking Company has a little advertisement in there. I guess they have some sort of snickerdoodle granola. Ooh, that got... looks good. Grapow. I've heard about it, but Grapow. we haven't tried this yet. I like that name. Grapow. Maybe it's in. Oh, it's in here. Oh, is it? Okay. Cool. And then we have something for Explorado Market. Fat Fit Go. All right. Oh, I think that's in here too. Okay, awesome. So it looks like the first thing is a fan favorite, and that's chomps. Chomps beef sticks. We they're probably chomps my beef favorite sticks. beef sticks. Yeah. Um, they're grass fed, grass finished. Do you want to know what's in it? You can just go over the the macros on it, I guess. Okay, so one stick, 100 calories, 6 grams of fat, 9 grams of protein, zero carbohydrates. Made up of 100% grass-fed beef, sea salt, encapsulated lactic acid, cultured celery powder, black pepper, red pepper, granulated garlic, coriander, and stuffed in a beef collagen casing. Yeah, they're really good. Uh, we actually do have a link for it. It's down below in the description. And I believe we have a coupon code for it as well. Just uh, I'll put it up on the screen if I still have that this one. This is original flavor. And uh, they sell for anywhere between about $1.80 to $2.50, depending on where you get them. Yeah. I've actually been really wanting to try these. I've never tried Nui. this brand. So th this is like the new cookie chocolate chip, one oh, gram new. of sugar. I'm calling it new -wee. It says it's four grams new. of net carbs. Okay, so let's take a look here. I can't read that. I'll read the nutrition here. All right. So the serving size is um, per bag, there is two cookies. The serving size is two cookies. Yes. 240 calories, 23 grams of fat. We have six grams of protein and 20 total carbohydrates. Nice. Three grams of fiber, 13 grams of erythritol. So that would make it four net carbs. That means it's two net carbs per cookie. Two that is net carbs per, per cookie. cookie. 10 total carbs per cookie. Okay. So you want to read the ingredients because I You're once teeny, again tiny. forgot my glasses. There's almond flour, erythritol, grass-fed butter, coconut oil, sugar-free chocolate chips, egg yolks, heavy cream, egg whites. Contains less than 2% of the following. Medium chain triglycerides or MCT, coconut flour, monk fruit extract, vegetable fibers, vanilla extract, cultured milk powder, sodium bicarbonate, sea salt, sunflower lecithin, xanthan gum, and guar gum. It's very like soft. I know a lot of people say they're really good. By the way, this is 
We I found these Zevia energy drinks. We were looking for them forever, and we found finally them found them in Sprouts. You didn't try. This is the cola flavor. They no. only had two cans of it. Before I taste this, I don't usually like the Stevia Cola. I know, but figure you want to try it. It's pretty good. You know what it reminds me of? RC Cola. Yeah. Now, my name is Rachel Christine. That's my middle name. And my grandfather used to always sing, me and my RC, me and my RC. I guess it was like a... Like a little jingle for the product. Well, this is interesting. I've never seen something like this. I don't know if I would necessarily ever buy this, but it is a mug cake. Mug cake in a in bag. A pouch. <laughs> so the ingredients in this are allulose, which is a new form of a uh, sweetener. What do you think about allulose? I don't know enough about it. I know that they they do make you they make these companies put it down as a sugar. Okay. Even though it's not a sugar. But I also was just reading something that the FDA is finally changing that and going to allow them to classify it as a sugar alcohol. Interesting. But generally, when you do see a product that has, says allulose, most of the products that are currently on the market, it's going to be listed as a sugar, but you could take it off. Okay. What I don't like about that is the fact that you don't know, are you take is everything that's listed as a sugar the allulose? Or like is there another thing? Like right. Maybe is there a little bit of fruit in there that that wouldn't come out? So, um but it's a kind of new product. I know that it can cause some uh, pooping problems. Oh, like okay. Like runny poopy problems. But, oh my goodness. <laughs> uh, like you, you have to run much in of poopy? It. Yeah. But I do know that Keto Connect on their like comparison of all the different artificial or artificial and natural sweeteners, mm -hmm. they did this and they Didn't said it's- did spike your it's, insulin? Nope. Zero on the glycemic index. So. Nice. So then on the back it says melt two tablespoons of butter in or oil in a mug. So that means you still have to supply the oil or the butter. Okay. And then you have to crack an egg in your mug. Add this in there. Microwave for one to one and a half minutes. Ingredients are allulose, almond flour, cocoa powder, coconut flour, sodium bicarbonate, which is just your baking powder, uh, salt, stevia leaf extract. Hmm. Okay. 30. It's one packet. It says one pouch is 420 calories. Is that going to be with or without the butter and the egg? I'm assuming whatever's on that on this That's package good. is what's in the package. So that means if you're adding two more tablespoons of butter, so now you're at 620 plus your egg is another 70. You're at like, what, 700 calories for this mug cake? Great day. Okay. 38 grams of fat, 16 grams of protein, 28 total carbohydrates, 5 grams of fiber... And then it says 20 grams of added sugars, which is, or include, yeah, 20 grams of allulose. So, I don't know. I'm, let, let's look at how Did much. Did you say how much that cookie was? Oh, by the way, yes. The cookie was $3.99 for the new cookie. So, this is $3.99. With two cookies in it. So, $2, $2 a cookie. Yeah. So, and I'm sure that's just what the price is on here. A lot of times you can find them cheaper. Yeah. Okay. This here is $4. I'm going to tell you now, I don't have what? to even try this. This is a total waste of money. What? There a are total so waste of money. many mug cakes out there. We just put a mug cake recipe. I will link it over Rachel's head for, you can use coconut flour or you can use almond flour. Literally go buy a package Flaction. of almond. You can buy a package of almond fl of coconut flour for like close to what this package costs. You're still buying the egg. You're still, you still buying have the to butter. Supply the egg. You still have to supply the butter. So basically all they're doing is mixing some cocoa powder some sweetener and some and almond or coconut flour. You can do this. You do not need this them. This is such a waste of money. That Doesn't is, even come with a mug. That's a waste of money. It should come with a mug for four dollars. I know, right? Grapow. Grapow. Snickerdoodle. I kind of like. You want to read name. that? Yes, I'll because look up how much it, it is. is impossible to read. The nutrition facts about one ounce. So there's two. They're saying there's two servings in this. Okay. I debate that. Okay. Anyway, but per serving, you've got 140 calories, so really 280 in this bag. Um, 13 grams of fat versus three grams of protein. It's okay. kind of nice for a trail mixy kind of thing. Um, there are seven total carbs in this. Three so the package sugar is 14. alcohol. So okay. six. So 14 minus six would be what? Eight. So wait, no. So seven. Yep. And then three. Mm -hmm. So that's four, four net carbs. Yeah. 
And then, so the entire thing is 14 total carbs. So and eight. eight. Eight net carbs. That's not bad. Not terrible. I mean, again, I'm, I'm really actually really impressed with the whole fat to protein ratio too. Um, so the ingredients are extra virgin coconut oil, coconut, erythritol, almonds, walnuts, sunflower seeds, golden flaxseed, free range eggs, pecans, Himalayan pink salt, grass-fed bovine collagen, stevia, cinnamon, saline, uh, cinnamon, vanilla extract, sodium bicarbonate, clove, and it contains egg, almond, walnut, pecan, and coconut. I'm actually like really impressed really with these Really impressed ingredients. with the ingredients. So there's a little card here they gave you. This bag is very and soft. And so also. the card says, Snickerdoodle was the first flavor created by Tara, our founder and recipe developer, which consequently led to the inception of the keto baking company with two net carbs per serving. We fully believe Grapau will deliver a uh, flavor filled pouch to your palate, minus the sugar and actual violence, of course. Did she oh. say two net carbs? Did you forget the fiber? Two grams of fiber. So, two grams of fiber. So, so that means the entire pouch is four net carbs. That's really good. That's very good. Sorry okay. about that. So, the price on those is $349, which definitely is pretty good. I think that's a really I mean, excellent I would, price. Based on the ingredients in this, I'd rather eat this than even moon cheese. And you're looking at about the same price. I have a feeling. I mean, I have a feeling there's going to be some mega flavor. <gasps> Ooh, Ooh, Bunker Hill crunchy cheese crisps. Speaking of cheese, we've had these before. These are really good. Um, okay, so do you want to hear what's in it? Yep. Pasteurized. Can you put it up. So that they oh, can... sorry. Is it coming? Let's in? Put it up. Oh, I'm gonna cover Joe's. There you baby. go. There it goes. So, pasteurized milk, salt, microbial, coagulant, and cheese cultures. So, really clean ingredients. 180 calories per serving, and there's about seven crisps in a serving. Um, let's see. Uh, 15 grams of fat, 10 grams of protein, one carbohydrate per serving. Okay. And those sell for about $5 a bag. Now, this one is just like... I guess cheese, there's no like, I've had like jalapeno and right. other flavors, but they're really good and the crunch is awesome. Sweet cheat. Sweet cheat. We've actually had oh, yeah. the hot chocolate of this, right? And what is this one? This is, it says feel good chocolate milk. Oh, nice. So, oh, I can read this. Look how big that nutrition label is. Okay, so they get points for that. Okay. Ingredients. Inulin fiber, cocoa, monk fruit, natural flavors. Natural flavors. Good ingredients. Yep. Okay, so it says monk fruit has been used for 700 years to sweet naturally without affecting your blood sugar levels. Serving size is two teaspoons, 15 calories per serving, uh, no fat, no protein, six grams of total carbohydrates, six grams of fiber, zero net carbs. What? Zero net carbs. We're going to have to try that. I don't and know if two teaspoons is going to be enough for me. You know, I like so my chocolate milk. The instructions chocolate is mix two teaspoons with one cup of your favorite milk. Probably milkadamia would be my favorite milk. What would be your favorite milk? Milkadamia and hemp milk. That stuff I is I really like the hemp milk. Awesome. Okay, uh, $10 a bag. That's a lot of money. However, it's going to go a long way, I think, if you do the two teaspoon thing. Yep. Shrewd Foods Protein Crisps. We've actually had these before. We have. I don't remember them. I don't remember how they tasted. I do. <laughs> they usually get handed off to Caleb. I really don't remember how they tasted. But in their defense, they're like protein heavy. They taste pretty good. Okay, protein so the ingredients on these are... If I can like get it so it's not shiny. There we go. Uh, it's cheddar, so it's ingredients are milk, protein, isolate, cheddar cheese seasoning, which is made out of whey, cheddar cheese, pasteurized, milk, cheese, culture, salt, enzymes. And then it's got salt, natural flavors, butter, contains 2% or less of annatto extract, paprika extract, I yeast know. extract, non-fat dry milk, safflower oil, sodium phosphate, citric acid, and citric um, Lactic acid powder, sodium caseinate, and sunflower oil. As I remember, it's a lot of ingredients. It for is, and as I remember it, there's a natto lot of flavor on the inside of the crisp. This is one of those ones where it's like the flavorings on the outside. Do you remember? It now? I do remember it now. The flavors on the outside, largely on the well, inside, I may it's kind of dry. Another shot. 
I know a lot of people do like them. Yeah. Okay, so a serving size is one bag. At least you get that. I like that. 90 calories for the bag. Very Three grams calorie. of fat, 14 grams of protein, two total carbohydrates. It's a lot of protein over the fat. But it's a protein crisp. They're not claiming that it's not. Yep. Again, if you're going to the I'm looking movies. For the price. If you're going to the movies and one bag is two dollars and seventy nine cents. Meh. Next. Chocolate premium nut butter. So this is from Fat Fit Fit Go, right? Or Fat, Fat Fit, Fit Go. Go. Explore with energy. Okay, so inside of this little packet, let me see if I can. Is it coming in? All right, so the ingredients are blanched almonds, macadamia nuts, cocoa butter, MCT oil, erythritol, cocoa powder, salt, cinnamon, and stevia. I just want to squirt this whole thing in my mouth right now. Okay. All right, so it's got, it's 170 calories. It is 17 grams of fat and four grams of protein. The total carbohydrates are five grams Three fiber and one sugar alcohol. So one net carb. Yeah. Sounds good. That, it, it looks good. We eat that. How much are they? $2.29 a pack. Woo. That is going to be great for traveling. Heck yes. Okay. So this is sea salt and cracked pepper flavored small batch pork rinds. Mmm. Okay. Fly, fried in sunflower oil. I've always liked salt and pepper flavored. What's the name of the company? It is Southern, Small Batch Pork Prime? It's the Southern Recipe, I think. Southern Recipe, Southern Recipe Small Batch. I guess that's the name of the company. So there is a little copy on the back. It says Small Batch Big Taste. This is recipe number 16. Our pork skins are hand selected and then cooked in small batches free from artificial colors and contain zero trans fats per serving. Wow. Uh, we think you're going to love them. Simple is simply done with our small batch recipe number 16. Sea salt and cracked black pepper rinds contain 30% less sodium than our regular sea, uh, salt, and pep, uh, salt and pepper pork rinds. Peppa. Taste your crunch to take your crunch to the next level. Okay. Serving size is one package. Well, that is rare that you get one package. Like usually this package is like four servings. So it's 130 calories, 8 grams of fat, 14 grams of protein, one total carbohydrate. Nice. And the ingredients are pork rinds, sunflower oil, salt, maltodextrin, mm. sea salt, black pepper, yeast extract, onion powder, citric acid, garlic powder, and natural flavors. I would never buy this. Wow. I would never buy it. They were going so good. They were going really good. They were doing Even well. Even though they were cooked in sunflower oil, most of them usually are. And they're $1.50 a bag, but... Why are they using maltodextrin? Don't buy pork rinds that have maltodextrin. And maltodextrin is going to skyrocket your sugar, your blood sugar more than sugar itself does. Yeah. All right. Last but certainly not least is IOTA. The, this company... Here, put it up. Not too close because then it's going to... Oh, it's all shiny. There you go. There you go. So this company makes really good sunflower seeds. This is umami flavor. I've had a lot of flavors. I've not had this flavor, but so it's got t it's tamari and apple cider vinegar. I feel like I'm gonna love this. I do too. So um, let's see. I don't care one iota what they call it. I I can't. I had to get that out. I'm sorry. So the ingredients are organic sunflower kernels, organic tamari, which is water, organic soybean salt, organic alcohol. It's got apple cider vinegar powder, ooh, multidextrin, apple cider vinegar, food starch modified, sunflower oil, and sea salt. Again, they were going so good. I mean, and again, I'm not saying that I wouldn't, I, we never eat maltodextrin. It's very difficult to avoid, but I do try to not have it all the time. And like, this is another thing. Like, there's plenty of sunflower seeds it. on the market that don't have them. So I would not usually pick something like this up. So there's about two and a half servings per container. A serving size is a fourth of a cup. Right. 15 grams of fat, six grams of protein, six total carbs, and three fiber. So three car net carbs per serving. Yeah. Wow, that is unfortunate. Okay, so unfortunately we are on our cut, cut down, down to, to KetoCon. Because I really want to try these. 
but wah, wah. this that would be 10 net carbs even if we split it it's five 10 total carbs five total five total cards if we split a cookie and we're at 15 total carbs right now so Can't. i'm gonna save this until after cut down and then we'll do a full review on it because yeah. i really do want that let's just take a handful of this all right grapow grapow okay because wait what was the total carbs on this let's see it again Seven grams of total carbs. Seven grams of total in carbs. And and so 14 in the bag. So we just take a little tiny bit. Maybe it will have like a couple of total carbs, right? Okay. Oh my gosh. Uh, I guess we can just break That's a piece, big right? pow. That's a big piece, right? Grapow. Oh, by the way, those uh, sunflower seeds, $4. Three eighty-nine. I can't break it. You get a Hulk smash it. All right, this looks good. It looks really good. What does it smell like? Snickerdoodle. It does smell like Snickerdoodle. Mmm. Oh my God. You need to close that bag. Like seriously, I'm about to jump over you and get that entire bag. Oh my God. Wow. If you like Snickerdoodles, I feel like I'm eating a cookie. That is freaking delicious. We're gonna have to reach out to this company. Oh my goodness me. This is good. That is tasty. That is really good. So what are your thoughts on the box this month? I'm excited about a couple of things that okay. are in here that I've never seen before. Like cold, hot, like I wanna say hot chocolate, but it's cold, yep. milk chocolate. Chocolate milk. I can't wait. Um, I am also excited about this stuff. Like you need to hide this. That stuff is awesome. Like seriously, I, I'm gonna hide it. I have to hide it so good that I can't find it. I'm excited about a new nut butter option. Yep. I'm not so great about these. I'm not, not a big fan of those. And although I understand the need for these like grab and go mug cake things, like definitely something I'm sure people would be interested in. There's so many recipes out there yeah. you can find on YouTube to just make them without having to bring a company into this. Yep. And I'm really excited about this. I mean, I kind of feel the same way. I mean, there's some good products in here as far as I'm concerned. Mm -hmm. um, I don't remember these enough. You know, they may be really good. These are delicious. Those are really good. Never the sunflower them. seeds are good. I just wish they didn't have melted extra in this flavor. That's a, my only chunks. thought on this stuff is this is I wouldn't mind it if it wasn't four dollars. Like right? for four dollars, you can go buy a thing of coconut flour. You can go buy a you know a package of almond flour. Yeah. And for eleven dollars, you get three pounds of almond flour at Costco. So if this was a dollar, I'd say, okay, it's worth it, you know, but at $4, I think it's not worth it at all because you still have no. to add the butter and you have to add the egg and you don't want to have something like this that already has the butter and the egg in it because then they're going to end up having to add something like maltodextrin or dextrose to bind it. So also, this is the biggest thing. Like it's a, that's a huge disappointment. I'm not blaming keto crate or anything like no, this, but I would just, just never ever buy this. Also, like if if the calories are reflective of like what's just in the bag, you're talking about a mug cake that's going to be like 800 calories. Yeah. So, well, that's our video for today. Hopefully, you guys liked it. Um, if you do get the keto crate, let us know down below what would be your favorite product in it. Even if you don't get the keto crate, which one in the products in here would you be most interested in? Absolutely. Again, I can't wait to try this. We're just going to have to wait another Later. two and a half weeks. So. So if you like what you saw, do us a favor, hit that like button down below. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the little bell icon and that way every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. And until next time. Bye. Bye. Bye.